Hi guys, so welcome to today's video. We are doing a very soft, very glowy, dewy, ethereal kind of look today. It's kind of what I was in the mood for and I had gotten the Cue the Confetti palette, the newest one that just came out from Tarte in the mail. I had ordered it from the Sephora website a few days ago and I finally got it and I wanted to play with it so I'm using all the shades in this palette today and I really like the look. It's really soft, very light but it's not super crazy, it's not very bold, and I don't think that's the point of this palette. It's like the rosy, more natural colors. I do wanna do a smoky eye with this dark shade here, and I will maybe share that with you guys on Instagram, or maybe even do it in a tutorial um, coming up soon. But I do like the packaging, and I just like the sleekness of this. So if you're interested in seeing this look, then let's get started. So I already have my primer on, it's the Fenty Beauty Primer, and I'm gonna take the lightest shade here, which is matte. There are two matte shades, so let me tell you that first. So this light one here and then this tan are mattes. These two and then this third one here are shimmers. So we're going to take the light one that's kind of like a skin tone ivory type of shade and I'm going to use a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to go over my eyelids entirely to make sure that my primer is really well set. I did use translucent powder. So we're going to go into the crease. I'm going to use this light tan shade here, the second matte color, and I'm going to use a big fluffy crease brush. This is the Morphe R37 of my crease, and I'm just going to go windshield wiper motions back and forth, right in my natural crease following the natural shape of my eye. Alright, so that's what that tan color looks like. It was really easy to apply and blend. And I'm going to go into some of the other shades for my actual lids themselves. And I'm going to start with this really light pink color. And I'm going to put that in the inner corner. And it does, my brush does pick up quite a bit. And it looks more peach on the brush. So I'm tapping off the excess. And I'm going to just kind of pat this into the inner corner. Pretty much like the inner half. I'm going to wipe off my brush and then I'm going to go in with the other shimmer shade which is a little bit darker and then this is the darkest one so it's this one here. And that one's going to go on the outer part of my eye to make this just a little bit darker. And then again the same brush is really nice because you can use that tapered point to really wedge that color into the crease. So it's a really good a really good set to, to try if you are looking for some new brushes. And there's just a little bit of a difference between these two shades, not a whole lot. It could be my brush that's not really picking up too much of a difference. And then I'm going to go right where these two meet and just kind of soften right there. And they, that lighter one probably needs to be used a little bit damp. Um, so far there's a little bit of fallout um, on my face and on my nose. So I'm going to try to clear some of this off. And then I'm going to go in with some of the darkest color for the crease um, and add a little bit more. I typically don't usually use um, shimmery eyeshadows in the crease for some depth, but since I'm kind of sticking just to this palette, I'm only limited to what's here. So I'm going to stick with that and use that color with a detail brush to add a little bit more on this outer corner. And I'm going to... Just kind of start stamping this in this outer corner here. And this is a very soft, kind of ethereal, glowy look. It's really, really pretty. And then I'm going to go back in with that R37 brush and that light tan that I used to begin with. And then I'm going to go right over the edges and also add a little bit more of the eyeshadow itself to add some more layers of color. Next, I'm going to move on to the lash line, and I'm going to take that very center shade that I use on the outer half of the eye with a Morphe E36, so it's super, super tiny, precise detail brush, and I'm going to add that to my lower lash line, putting most of the product here, and then working it in. And with a more dense brush, it's really picking up those rosy, slight coppery tone, almost. Ooh, and I just got it in my eye. <laughs> So with denser brushes, you'll get much more of an impact than soft, fluffy, wispy brushes. 
Wiping off my brush, I'm going to go into the pink shade here, which is the lighter one. And that's going to be the inner corner color. With that same brush, I'm going to pick up the darkest shade. And that's going to go on the outer part of the eye, kind of connecting it from here down. And it's just going to make it a little bit darker. So the final touches for the eye is some eyeliner. I'm going to use the black eyeliner and then smudge it out. This is the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus. These are really creamy and they blend and smudge really well. So that's why I'm using it so that I can create a very, very soft line. And so I'm just going to kind of do light little flicks until I create the line. So then I'm going to just soften this and fix any little mistakes. And it's just that easy with these pencils. So I think I'm going to smudge a little bit of this dark shade over the liner. I should have used my dark espresso pencil liner instead of the black. So we're going to add a little bit of brown with an angled brush. I'm going to go just use the same color. And I'm going to kind of stamp this right over the top and it's going to add a little bit more color but it's also going to change the look of that black eyeliner. Now to finish up the whole look I'm going to use my CoverGirl Uncensored Mascara. I did a video on this a few days ago and if you haven't seen it check it out because I was very shocked by this mascara and super impressed. I've been using it ever since I did my first impressions and I posted that video, um, like I said, a few days ago. I am, am going to layer my Lash Paradise over the top and see what happens because I really love this Lash Paradise. It's like one of my go-tos. Such a difference with just layering both of those mascaras. Looks so, so good. Alright, so mascara is done. It really does pull the whole look together and now I need to finish the rest of my face. I need to do bronzer, blush, and highlight. So I have my Charlotte Tilbury Instant uh, Look in a Palette and this is what I use as my little mirror. So I'm going to use the bronzer that's in here. It's very much love. I feel like at any point I'm going to hit pan on this using an e.l.f. Uh, complexion brush just to pick up a little bit of this. It has a bit of a sheen to it but it looks really natural on the skin. And everything today for the look is very soft, very light, dewy, just kind of fresh. And I didn't even set my foundation or anything like that. I did use um, extra product over my blemishes because they are a pain. <laughs> pain. And they're not welcomed. But it seems like they're here to stay. So, it is what it is. So I have a new... Um, blush so this is what the blush looks like really cool pink and like a silver uh, chrome letters and this is in the shade we're going shopping and I like the fact that it is matte I was afraid that it was gonna be shimmery and it's like a true kind of peach yeah it's like a true peach there's not much pink to this um, when I got the box it was covered in like fuchsia glitter and it was everywhere and I love glitter and I think it's pretty but it was it made a mess all over my kitchen counter. I'm taking off the little plastic. I like that it has a mirror, which is really nice. Just really soft. And see how this looks. Oh yeah. Really, really pretty. And then for a little bit of highlight, I'm gonna just use this eyeshadow from my Charlotte Tilbury palette, which is what I normally use if I'm you know running behind or don't have a lot of time. Just been going in with this. It's a soft, shimmery champagne color uh, that can be used as eyeshadow or as highlight. And I've been using a crease brush for this. And I have been using this highlighter or this eyeshadow for highlight for quite some time. And then I'm going to take some on my cupid's bow, well, the same brush. And then to make things super easy for the lips, I'm going to use my Kopari Lip Glossy in the Birthday Suit, which is also a very shimmery, like, pale nude color. Looks like that. 
So I'm just blending in the gloss with my fingers because when you get products shipped, especially here in, with the altitude in Colorado, and you open a tube, everything just kind of busts out. And so there's so much product that's coming out of the tube. Shimmer and like a nice sparkle. It's so pretty. It's perfect for every day. You can put this on like I did with nothing else or with lip liners, something dark, something a little bit natural. Um, one of my favorites from Charlotte Tilbury is the Pillow Talk Lip Liner, and that's kind of like my lips but better kind of shade. With this would be beautiful. I love the formula of these and it smells amazing. And the box that this came in is like a pink, sparkly, glittery um, look to it. And it's so pretty. The packaging, of course, you know, that goes in the trash, but the product itself is quite nice. Even the original one with like the hot pink tube, which is just clear, is amazing. So if you haven't tried these, definitely pick these up the next time you go shopping. All right, so that is the entire look. Um, I will have everything listed down below for you because I did have my foundation, concealer, and brows done, and also my eyeshadow primer. So everything will be listed for you just in case you're curious about anything else or you just wanted the list for the next time you go shopping. Um, this palette is actually quite nice. I didn't know if I was going to really enjoy it um, or if it was going to be pigmented or not. I haven't used Tarte eyeshadows in some time. One of my very favorite eyeshadow palettes is the Maneater palette, which I think they still make and sell on their website. And I have that, and I think that was one of my favorites for 2018, and really enjoy it, and I still have it and use it. It's one that I travel with if I take trips on the weekends or if I'm traveling anywhere. That's what I take because it's got everything that you need. So if you're looking for a new palette or something travel friendly, check that out. Hopefully they'll come out with more palettes like this that are thin and just more sleek. Because sometimes it's just kind of, I don't know, I just like the idea of this versus something so large with all these colors. It's like you don't know where to start, what colors to pick. This is kind of just already laid out for you, makes it simple and easy. So hopefully they make more palettes like this that are thin with like five colors and different color stories. That would be really nice and I think I think people might enjoy that and I love the packaging it's dirty and filthy because I have like lotion on it but um, I do like the packaging it's so pretty and just nice and it was only 19 bucks I don't know if I told you that at the beginning of the video but it was $19 for five eyeshadows which is really affordable so anyways that's it you guys check out the description box for everything that I use today thank you so much for joining me I hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for new videos coming up next week also don't forget to subscribe if you are a subscriber thank you so much for your support your love it means the world to me and if you are new hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you get notified of every new video that I post every week follow me on social media Twitter Instagram snapchat I'm there pretty regularly and I hope to see you there take care you guys and I'll catch you in my next video